12,720. Uh, let me add here the payment terms and we will see the discount part also. So what is cash discount? As you know, cash discount when we will go for uh, payment of any early payment, then we are eligible for discount. That means if your invoice amount is 900, okay, and which is due in two days, and if you are going to make the payment early, so in that case, if let's say 10% discount is applicable, so 90 is your discount. So how much is payable? Payable is 810, right? But for this configuration, first we need to configure the payment terms. So what is payment terms? We need to configure payment terms with four digits something. So let's say I will take here WM1 or let's say ZWM11 payment term. And uh, this one I will take if you are going to make the payment in three days. Then 5% is discount applicable. If you are going to make the payment in 10 days. Then 2% otherwise payable in 15 days. This is one payment terms I need to configure first. Now, whatever I'm going to do, it is everything related to payable or related to accounts payable, business process related to payable. So go to the transaction code O double B eight. New entry. Five percent three days. Two percent ten days. This payment terms is applicable on customer vendor or only customer or only vendor. If it is only applicable vendor, then uncheck the customer. If it is only on vendor, then uncheck the customer. And here we have option baseline date. So what is this baseline date? Baseline date is the due date or it is the date from which due date is calculated. We are saying 15 days is your due date or if you are eligible, uh, you are eligible for 5% discount within three days, eligible for two discount in 10 days from which date that is your baseline date. So you can define the baseline date as document date or maybe posting date. So if you we'll select here document date, the moment you will select uh, your invoice date or the document date automatic system will consider that is your baseline date or if it is selected as posting date posting date will be considered as baseline date but it should be better option we can select the document date as baseline date select document date as baseline date maintain the percentage five percent three days two percent ten days and 15 days now this payment terms how we are going to use it this is my payment terms This payment terms you can add in the master record, vendor master. What is the benefit? Whenever you are going to use this vendor in transaction, automatically this payment terms will flow to that vendor or in the line item or in the invoice. No need to select manually. So if you are going to regularly use this payment terms, so you can add it. So automatically it will flow to the invoice. It will automatically flow to the invoice. Otherwise, you can also manually add this payment terms in the invoice. So this is your manual selection while posting. You can add it manually. Otherwise, if it is already there and you want to overwrite it, 
so we can change it also while posting the transaction we can change it even after posting the transaction we can add the payment terms now in this line item payment terms is right now it is not there you can see it is already overdue I want to add the payment terms so now I am trying to add the payment terms in directly in the line item itself but I will get the error just let me add it double click edit and add the payment terms So I'm getting one message like cash discount may only granted up to 0% that means as an user I'm not authorized to process the discount here that is the error I'm getting here so first I should add this option in my user tolerance so that I can process it okay so change the user or add it in the user go to OB A4 Here one option is that cash discount per line item that means per line item maximum how many cash what is the cash discount we are allowed for this particular user or all users under this group so I will take here five percent now try it Previously it was overdue Now changed it's not a due so what is the due date? Fifteenth June from which date 31st May because this is your baseline date from baseline date 31st May the due date is calculated and it is uh, uh, due on 15th June if we are going to make the payment earlier then we are eligible for discount so here we are the customer and uh, we, if we are going to make the payment early then we are eligible for discount now coming to the accounting part so what will be the accounting entry now vendor is credited there is a credit entry 12,720 so here let's say discount is 200 so payment will be 12520 right now what will the accounting entry when we are going to make the payment so payment will be 12520 and automatically this discount will be accounted that means user will not do anything user will process f-53 as usual but when user will post the transaction if discount is eligible uh, applicable okay that means within the three days or ten days then automatic system will calculate the discount and system will post the accounting entry also so that means for this we have to do some additional configuration or the account determination we need to create one ledger so coming to the account determination here the it is auto posting so the account determination key here it is SKE under this we have this posting keys are there debit or credit here it is applicable credit posting key and we need to add one ledger here what is the ledger discount receipt so we need to create one ledger discount receipt with auto posting and we need to add this particular ledger under this posting key so when we will process the payment automatically if discount is applicable it will credit to the account so create the ledger under revenue other category add it
discount receipt. post automatic only so that no manual posting this account determination is already there only we need to assign this ledger to account determination key transaction code OVXU or through navigation it is Receivable payable business transaction, its outgoing payment, outgoing payment global setting, define account for cash discount received or taken, add your chart of account. Transaction key SK. This is the same settings what we did, similar settings what we did during our integration. Go to accounts, save the rule, go to accounts, and add the ledger 2002. So posting key already there, and here you can see debit credit is not applicable that means it is always a credit entry if somewhere both debit credit options are there that means this ledger maybe you will find a debit entry or a credit entry this option will be there you can activate that also make the payment that's it from configuration point of view that's it make the payment Select the credit account. How much amount? I don't know. I will continue. So I've selected here one, entered one so that I can continue the payment. Select the vendor. Process open item. So two payable items are there. So we can go for the all payment, but in this line item discount is there. So you can see here now it is more than five days or sorry three days more than three days So five percent slab completed now it is within the ten days slab So two percent on invoice discount so that that is two point five four four zero So now what is the payable amount payable amount is twelve thousand six six five that means twelve seven twenty plus 200 minus 254 254 40 so 126560 change the amount i need to change this amount i entered here one click on overview double click on this amount add this amount 126560 Check the accounting entry so cash is going to credit it outgoing payment amount vendor is going to debit the uh, payable amount 12,000 whatever the credit entry earlier we have posted 12,920 and this is auto posting discount receive okay it's auto posting double click add the text discount at the rate two percent Okay, so these two open items are also clear. Here also, no entry, open entry. Whatever we will do with sub ledgers, you will find the updates in ledger also. And uh, you can find 
let's see the open item or the all line items in vendor. So two vendors are there and right now the payable amount is zero. Everything is paid. So check this entry. So how much we paid here? We how much we paid that you will get it from the payment account or cash or bank account. And you can see here we have earned a discount of 25440. In total out of this 12,920 you earn a discount. This is your discount amount. Discount amount 25440. And in this line only we earn the discount, not here. Okay, and the same discount amount also updated in your GL account. In the same way, Pradeep, like if there is an overpayment, then um, we have a surplus account or something. Like if, yeah, if it is overpayment or underpayment, then you can configure that also, and you can dis you can uh, define here. Payment difference account. Okay, if it is debit, that's a loss. You are going to transfer here. If it is uh, overpayment, then you can add it here. Different account determination. So this one I will show you while doing the collection receivable. Okay, because some other topics are linked with this region code, all these things. So that's why. So we have completed with this the P2P process, not the payable P2P. We started from the purchase order and today we completed the payment. So that is the end of your P2P. OK, so you complete all your backlog. Tomorrow I will start with special GL transaction. So in special GL transaction, we will. Uh, no, better we can special GL transactions, the customer and vendor advance that I can take all together. Then uh, here in payable you have the special GL transactions are there, which is your vendor advance and uh, bills of exchange. Both this uh, concept is a unique concept. That means once I will explain, we can do the configuration at a time. So better we will do it at a time. Once we will have the accounts uh, uh, receivable, then the accounts, uh, the APP configuration is not possible until unless we have the bank configuration. So tomorrow we can start the SD. We will hold it here, the payable. We will start with SD, then followed by SD integration. Once SD configurations are there, then these pending topics I can take here. Okay. It's very interesting though, like the whole process explained. So this receivable uh, payable like uh, it's just mirror image. Whatever we are doing right now payable point of view same we will do the receivable point. So uh, same thing like in when we are going to do the customer advance just opposite of vendor advance and vendor advance just opposite of customer advance. So better I will uh, do it at a time. So uh, the same concept I can explain. So that's why I will not do this again again. Uh, we need to repeat uh, once again in receivable. So just make a note these things are pending. All the special GL transactions related to payable is pending. 